Hello everyone, welcome to Make It, Fix It, Build It. My name is Bryant, and today I'm going to attempt my first ever bow tie inlays on a walnut slab coffee table. Wish me luck. Okay, so I cut these bow ties out of cherry, and then last night, uh, I was messing around with the placement. I didn't have any CA glue, so I used a, a very small dab of wood glue to hold them in place. Uh, and then I went around them with my marking knife. And that's what I got. So now I have a very fine, accurate line around where those are going to go. So what I'm going to do next is... Uh, knock those off now that the markings are there and I'm going to use a quarter inch straight bit I'm going to use a quarter inch straight bit uh, with the router to then trace inside of the uh, markings that I made and then I'm going to clean up the outside with a chisel by hand uh, until these are snug and hopefully it comes out pretty uh, tight and flush all the way around all right here goes nothing Pretty good. Gives us a nice start. A lot less uh, chisel in there. Let's work on the second one quick. Well, that is a messy job. Okay, so what we're left with then is two very rough holes here for our inlay bow ties. Not even close yet, but definitely knocked a lot of the work out of there. Now it's time to uh, clean it up with the chisel and see what we got here. Now, make sure your chisels are nice and sharp. The other nice thing about that marking gauge has uh, created a little curve for us. Almost like if you were doing dovetails, which is what they are really good for. Now, if you're new to chiseling, which I'm not an expert with hand tools by any means, but make sure you keep that back flat side of your chisel parallel. To the cut back here, nice and flat. Okay, I got these cleaned up here. As I already said, I am not a master with hand tools. Uh, very little chisel work, but it is something I'm trying to get into, which is one of the reasons why I decided to do this project. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's, uh, it's not for sale, and it's for me to kind of practice. So, 
as they say, we're going to school on the first one. And then the uh, next time around, it'll be that much better. So let's just I dry fit them. Let's just glue them in here. All right. This is uh, not going to get any better than what it is. We missed some spots here. So let's get her in, get her uh, glued up. And I left it uh, just a little shallow compared to the bow tie so that we can then uh, sand it flush. Um, don't want, I don't want it to be recessed and then have to sand the entire piece down or plane it down to get it to where these are flush. So I leave these recessed and then we can, we can just take these down instead of all of it at once. So let's just the glue there, got all the way around here. All right. Get them down in there. Obviously you can tell these aren't coming back out. Definitely not perfect. Number two. Make sure we get plenty. Plenty of glue on there. You're gonna get a lot of squeeze out with this tight fit. So, spread some down the bottom there too. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. All right. I believe. That is that. Now we're gonna let that dry. Uh, it's kind of a little, they're tighter than I expected them to be. Uh, so I have a little bit more of a lip here than what I anticipated. So I might, uh, I might just hit that with the hand planer or belt sander, I'm not sure. But I'm ready to I'm ready to get this thing going here. I've been sitting on this piece of wood for a little bit, but it's got some beautiful grain. If I can show you. And I'm excited to see what it looks like with some finish on it. So I'm going to let that dry. Take them down, flatten them out. Uh, and then we'll come back when that's ready for that to happen. All right, this has been sitting for a little while. Just gonna take some of this off with the hand planer here. See how this goes. Uh, and also for anyone wondering why I'm going this way, that's the direction of the grain on the bow ties, so. I'm just going to get this close and then finish it off with the sander so I don't dig into the walnut here. I think that's good on that one.
put some finish on, put some legs on, and then she's done. To the living room for my first live edge coffee table. Okay hey guys, I'm just gonna finish this up quick with uh, showing you a real simple finish I like to use. It's just uh, Minwax wipe on poly. Shake it up. I don't know what the difference is between this and brush on, but I'm not willing to take the chance to find out right now. So here it is, sand it down to 220. Uh, very smooth, all wiped down and clean. And I'm going to apply this, um, spread it out, let it dry, hit it with some like 12 or 1500 grit, and do as many uh, coats as I need, probably up to um, four or five, just to keep it protected. So you can see the color already popping out. At the end of this, I will show you some still pictures all finished. That's it. Not bad for a first time inlay. Those bow ties are not terrible. And for my own personal table, I will take it. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching.